How's it going everybody? My name is Magneti and I welcome you to the mothership. Today, we're gonna be talking about my personal top three beginner hell let loose tips. Let's get into it. All right, starting off with number one, use your goddamn mic, okay? Please, like for the love of God, if you have a mic, use it. If you don't have a mic, try and use the chat box as much as you can. Now, you might not understand why this is so important, but like once you get into the game more, you'll understand better. It just, there's just so much going on when it comes to 50 v 50 realism World War II games that any sort of valuable information that you can produce coming from your mouth hole will help everyone around you. It can benefit the entire team, right? So it's just really that important. You wanna make sure you hold open comms Make requests, you know, like if you if you see something, say something, you know, like just do everything you can to talk about what's going on on the battlefield. And, you, you know, you, you're going to want to focus on what's going on within your squad, but you're also going to want to focus on what's going on in the overall game. So, for example, if you see a tank, even if it's kind of a ways away and it doesn't really look like it's heading your direction, speak up about that, right? Like if you see a group of infantry on the other side of your objective attacking or flanking from a different direction or something speak up about that right because in this game there's a chain of command just like in real war and so as you as a lowly little infantryman you can say hey there's a tank over there it looks like it's going to xyz location your uh squad officer can be like cool thanks for that and then he can mark it and then an anti-tank team can go take it out or a different team can be aware of the fact that it's coming okay so like these little things may not seem like they make a big deal or a big difference but they really really can turn the tides of battle sometimes now, I mentioned making requests earlier, so what I'm talking about is mostly like outposts and letting your squad officer or squad leader know like what you need or what you think your team needs so that they can push that up the chain of command as well. And again, if you see something, say something. Like, it could be anything. Just make sure you try to keep chat or comms uh, as clear as possible so no like overlapping talk. All right, moving on to number two. Know your role, okay? Now this one is, honestly, all three of these tips are gonna be just as important as the other. There's no like real chronological order here, but knowing your role is vitally important because if you're playing as just a like a plain old rifleman, your job is to just fucking shoot people, okay? That's like your only job is to shoot people from a distance. Rifleman is also the role that Hell Let Loose or Black Matter LTD, the developers of Hell Let Loose, recommend you to play for an extended period of time to get used to the game, okay? And it is really a good role to play as to start out as. Anyways, so what is a role? So basically a role is just the type of character you're playing as, right? So a medic, assault, anti-tank, rifleman, officer, armor, etc., etc. Recon. So those are those are roles. There's 14 of them in Hell Let Loose. Now, knowing your role is important. So you want to know how to play as your role. If you're going to play as a medic, you're going to want to focus on, you know, sticking behind your squad mates, you know, kind of giving covering fire, healing them as they get downed, healing your other teammates that aren't even in your squad. But you're also going to want to make sure that you play on the defensive side more so than the offensive side, not in the literal aspect of objectives, but more in the sense of the fact that you want to place yourself as a player and as a character character in a defensive position so that you're not dying constantly because if a medic is down, more men are going to die. That was just one example of the many roles that you can play as. Now, this is also important when you're playing as your role, you want to know how to play as your role because you're going to want to know what to communicate and when. So if you're playing as the anti-tank player or role on your squad and your own squad mate is like, yo, there's a goddamn tank on top of us, you're going to want to be like, okay, where's it at? And then they're going to mark it and then you're going to be like, cool, I'm on my way, I'm XYZ distance, I'm going to come take it out, something like that. Now, if you're an officer, that's a bit of a more in-depth role, but if you're an officer, that that is a vitally important position, so you're going to want to be constantly communicating, and that is why comms and using your goddamn mic is so important. All right, moving on to number three, the final tip. Again, these are beginner tips, pretty simple. Don't get shot. Totally kidding. Anyway, a real tip, use realistic tactics, okay? Think strategy, right? So get behind enemy lines. How can you get behind enemy lines and attack the objective from a different angle? How can you flank? How can you use your spawns to your advantage? You know, you're gonna wanna find the enemy team's spawns and think about how they were positioned. And when you destroy those spawns, how they might come for a counterattack or a flank on your end. 
there's so much going on in the game, right? And you don't have to think about all this all at the same time, right? So focusing on your specific area of the game can be perfectly fine. If you're in an open field and you realize, oh shit, the objective that I'm coming up on is starting to get taken, our defenses are getting down. Maybe you flank back from that field because you realize you're closer to the beginning of the field than you are to the front of the field. So you flank back around to the other side of where the infantry is coming and boom, you and your squad just got a flanked position on that team and you're able to stop the offensive on your defending point, right? Something more simple like that is just as awesome as, you know, commander level type strategy thinking, right? You don't need to be a fucking mastermind strategist to play this game, okay? I just want you to keep in mind that this is a war realism game and using strategy is gonna be really important on your end. If you got value out of this video, go ahead and share it with a buddy that you think might also get value out of this video or someone that you might want to introduce Hell Let Loose to. If you don't have any buddies that you wanna do that with, you can go ahead and just click subscribe for more content just like this. Other than that, stick around for gaming news and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.